This is the Skull Watcher Heritage 130p flex tube uh, telescope. It's a Dobsonian kind of telescope, but it's uh, folding. It retracts and it becomes smaller. I'm sitting on a carpet in a wall room, looking through the double glaze to the Vega uh, in the constellation Lyra. It's beautiful. I'm using different eyepieces. This is a Celestron 30mm, this is the RKE 28mm, and this is, and this is the Teleview Panoptic. All of them are good, they show whatever I have to look nice and easy. Amazing. I don't think that... Uh, any telescope can be as easy as this kind of Dobsonian mount. Okay, I'm using the Nagler 7mm eyepiece tape one or original with the astronomic UHC filter and I can see the oval shape of the M57 uh, ring nebula. Not only that, I can see actually the ring shape of it. It means that I see a hollow at the center. So that's really good. And this is the sketch of the M57 ring nebula as it exactly appears to the naked eye with the telescope. That's how it looks. Now I'm using the Nagler 5mm tape 6 uh, eyepiece with the astronomic UHC filter and I can see the oval shape and also can see that this is shaped like a donut at the center is uh, thinner the brightness is, is less bright and so that's really nice nice view the filter works on this nebula Okay, I don't see much difference practically between the view through the Teleview 24mm Panoptic and 30mm Ultra Series Celestron. Hmm. That and this. Hmm. Which one I prefer? I think the view through this is actually slightly better. Although this one, because of the slightly higher magnification, it actually gives a, a little bit uh, bigger. But the numbers of the stars I see are, are equal. I mean, the fainter stars, I see the same amount. Um, that's interesting conclusion. Okay. This telescope is one of the easiest telescopes I've ever used. You can even lay down and observe. <laughs> It's a Dapsodian base that you can put your own pieces on it. <laughs> it's one of the most convenient telescopes. And the more convenient the telescope is, the more you will use it. The bigger ones, uh, you cannot use it always. You have to set it up and move them, you know, unless you have observatory. 